Hi and welcome to this week's project. Um, it's the bandsaw box that you've all been waiting for. I know there's a lot of you that have been waiting for me to complete this box. It is finally done. It's Wednesday uh, quarter past two in the afternoon here. You normally have your video up this morning but because I really wanted to finish it and the reason I wanted to finish it is I'm just about to hit 10,000 subscribers and I couldn't really think of a more perfect project considering Highland boxes came from me making these boxes right in the beginning. I make very few now because I've gone on to other things but this was where it really started so it was quite important that this is the one that goes out this week. So I've been working, I'm still, I've just finished the box right now so I'm hoping it will be out in maybe the end of tonight or at latest tomorrow morning which is Thursday. I've never been late for a project but as I say this one was really important that it went out this week to me anyway. The original design for this came from um, a puzzle boxes book that I bought oh, a long long time ago and you can well the, 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 there's actually a picture of one in here and this gave me the the original styling for this box so I'll see if I can tag it on Amazon. It's Jess Former. It's a brilliant, brilliant book. Um, I've made many of his um, projects out of there. It's got my own twist on it because I remember it in my head, the structure of it. I don't stick to the book in any way. Drawers are all my own design. Obviously, I was inspired by his, so, you know, there, there is his work. Is, is You can plainly see it in this box. Um, but I think I've put some of my own touches into it. So, yeah, I just want to thank everybody out there um, for getting me to 10,000 subscribers. It's totally amazing, absolutely gobsmacking. I think you all know how much that means to me because it means that, that you maybe want to see what I'm doing and that is absolutely brilliant. I am now going to leave you to the video of this box. This is going to be a shortened version of it. It would take me a week to try and explain to you all the stuff that I actually did in this box. So I'm just going to give you a taste of, of where it all started. Um, I really, really hope you enjoy it. I'm delighted with the finish. It's not perfect. Um, there's a lot of... There's a lot of bits in there that you know, I'm totally delighted with the box, but it's not perfect. So when you see it, you'll see it's not perfect, but everything fits really smoothly. At the end, I'll come back and um, I'll just do just a couple of minutes, just actually showing you how it all opens up and stuff like that. But anyway, thank you very much. I hope you enjoy the video and thanks for all your patience and thanks for coming along and watching today. I look at you, you make me blind Why do you have to be so beautiful all the time? I know I can't be with you It's killing me to see you with someone else what to do Now I'm in the corner and watching you smile Watching you smile I can't get over you, I'm losing my mind All of the things that I wish I could tell you Every time when you're passing me by I fall in love, there's something about you I wish you were mine Yeah. 
Okay, it's after the new year in 2019 now and the first video footage that you've seen of this was all during the summer. So uh, I'm getting back to the box now and I'm hoping to get this box finished for you. So I wasn't too sure where I was in the video footage, I've got it all logged so, um, but I didn't go back and have a look. So I thought we would come back in at this point. So I've got all the boxes cut, but obviously all the drawers, but none of them have actually been cut out yet. Main unit um, done, it's still to be sanded and finished and all of that, but the parts are glued together. Um, so that's just ready for the finishing part. I did a lot of bad things And never did I give in Just cause the thought of being So we're indoors now, 
so I cut all the boxes and um, it went quite well I had a couple of I mean this is Douglas fir I use um, I have always liked Douglas fir for using on the bandsaw boxes it is a soft wood um, but it, it just finishes really nice I don't know I just really like it um, I like I mean I like the hard, some of the hardwoods oak and stuff like that but I do like Douglas fir but on this one here um, it had a knot in the edge there so obviously it broke apart but I've kept all the bits I will glue it back and actually you don't tend to notice it once it's all glued back in place so I just wanted to go over that you know because Douglas fir is knotty I mean you get all these knots but it's it, that's the character I quite like in it so let me have a look here because it's not always easy getting them all out well this is like one of the drawers here now so and I tried to mark tops and bottoms of them now I haven't done a lot of sanding on these because I'm worried that the edges won't meet properly if I do so what I go ahead basically and do now I just use a bit of um, I just use whatever glue I've got around to be quite honest with you I don't um, go all fancy on on the wood because it's just for an interior box so I'm going to go and I'll just glue the bottoms on and glue the fronts on um, I'll do a little bit of sanding here and there just to make sure that the edges meet well so even if they are a bit wonky they'll meet well and you tend to not notice them too much and then I'll be ready to get some sanding and stuff done on them okay that's a spack now um, I've got some of these out here I've started doing some of them they look a mess still at this stage like I say it's the sanding that makes them um, a lot of work needs to go into these bottoms need to be done all the sides need to be done smoothed out and shaped and obviously the box still looks an absolute mess um, it's time to get start getting this sanded now now they're never easy to sand these because they're so big but um, I tend to use yeah I tend to use um, these drum sanders here they're quite cheap they're only about a tenner off um, Amazon and I've got 120 grit on there because I don't want something too harsh on this because I want it to be left quite nice the, after this stage the rest will just be hand sanded um, down but I'll get all the the edges rounded off and smoothed out and the whole box completely on the outside obviously I can't do the inside here a lot of that will be done by hand and the same with these the, the bit with this big drum sander is that it does have a little bit of give so you can push right into it just to get it all really nice and smooth okay the biggest part of the job is actually getting everything sand sealed I didn't worry too much about sanding the inside of the boxes if you're using sand sealer I mix it 50-50 with um, cellulose thinners I sanded all the edges just to make them softer it helps them run inside the, the drawer area as well so um, it, there's a lot of benefits to just rounding off the edges there's nothing to catch on the inner boxes when you're pushing these in and out okay the final bit after the two coats of sand sealer and sanding 400 in between is lacquer I just use car lacquer clear lacquer um, I put a couple of coats on I also sand those 400 in between because the, I tend to do two the first one I do sand between uh, 400 in between and then I add another coat of it and it gives a really really smooth finish to it um, when you run your hands over it it's really silky after that if you just do the one coat and don't sand in between it, it, sometimes it doesn't feel as smooth so um, just simple lacquer I there's no fancy technique here I'm afraid it's just um, a bit of spray all over leave them to dry for a few minutes well hi and welcome back to the final part of the video um, I just tried to show you a few clips of the making of this just so you get the idea more so than anything um, the final part that I'm going to do with this if I if I use hardwoods and um, for a box like oak and stuff I or uh, I just I like the just the plain wood drawers um, but I mean because obviously these are all complete now they're lacquered on the outside and now the only thing that needs to be doing is to line the drawers now 
I use this suede text, I think we call it in the UK. I get it from Turner's Retreat. I mean, it's been a long time since I've used any of this because um, it's been a long time since I've, I've made a box like this. So what you get with these packs is you get some red glue. You get the suede text, which is... I'll open this up. And show you it. It's just like really fine particles that stick to the glue and they sort of stand up in the glue so they line the drawers really really well. Um, you get this little puffer thing, flocker it's called. So you just basically, this is a new one, you basically just fill this up with your powder. I usually just use it about halfway. should have a mask on really with this stuff because it's very fine. So pop that onto there. I use just a cardboard box with this. I wouldn't in all honesty normally do it inside but but well I am today. So I'm just going to do one of these for you and show you and then um, I don't need to show you really anymore. Once you've seen one you've seen them all. Right, so that's it ready here. I'm just going to sit it in the box basically and then you just puff it all around. Making sure you coat it. I usually put a really thick coating on it. And basically I leave it now to dry for 24 hours before I knock that out. Okay I wanted to give you a little bit of a better look at the the box other than the shots that I have. Um, obviously you've got little pull out ones which is these of different shapes and that one there. You've got push ones which they can actually be pushed or pulled so you can pull this up that way or you can push it the other way and when you push it the other way you'll see it comes out the back of the box we've got more so they sort of come out like that I'm hoping that you can see this okay yeah. same with this one's here push pull push pull there We've also got traditional just pull outs. In here we have that's just a single drawer actually in there. Right, let's go and see if we can find the secret boxes. Right, so this box actually there should be another box in the back there but um, it got missed so it's not actually in there just now so these oh, I've got to find the drawers now so this pulls out here now on this one it's got a magnet now I haven't completed that today because I've only just completed it but I would cover this in the suede text that I used for here but if I pop that into there it'll pull out the secret drawer from that corner there which has just got a similar magnet on it didn't put it on the same drawer because the idea of a secret box is that you actually don't know it's there so if you pulled that out 
you wouldn't know it's there because it won't drag the other one out but this main box will also the same in the other side here the secret box has a little magnet on it and then lastly if I pull that out and push this in it should take the other secret box out which is in here so it's got three little safe boxes it's actually got a fourth when I put the other one in so that's a secret box and I just used magnets for that there is several different ways you could actually do it but I just went for magnets that's normally how I would do it so anyway hope you enjoyed it's just something a little bit different quite a big box to make but it's just so worth the time that you put in because it's just such a lovely box to finish hope you enjoyed everybody